In 2007, Generation 4 of Pokemon came to the US. In the same year, the Diamond and Pearl anime also arrived in the US. In the episode arriving in style, a certain Pokemon was shown off. This Pokemon was Lopunny, and like many, I had a certain reaction. Their sultry eyes, their fluffy ears, and the most notable feature, their strong, head-crushing thighs. As a young boy, I saw this Pokemon and thought, Bunny! Lop Bunny is one of my favorite Pokemon. But having said that, I need to clear something up. No, Kevin, I do not want to fuck the rabbit lady. I already have my eyes set on the bug lady. No, but seriously, I have a genuine respect for Lop Bunny. And by the end of the video, hopefully you will too. So let me tell you wonderful people why Lop Bunny is the most wholesome Pokemon in the franchise. In the last video, I brought up something when I talked about Espeon Umbreon. And it's the fact that they are friendship evolutions. I theorize that this makes them some of the most loyal and loving Pokemon. It makes sense, right? Right? You need a true bond to get these evolutions. And the same principle will especially apply with Lopunny, the most notorious friendship evolution. The reason for this? Lopunny's pre-evolution, Buneary. Buneary is the only non-legendary with a base friendship of zero. Can't imagine why, honestly. But this is somewhat based on real-life rabbit behavior. In real life, rabbits are notorious pets. It takes a long time to get one to like you. And here it's being reflected in Lopunny. Buneary having a base friendship of zero also makes Lopunny the mascot of friendship evolutions. While Lopunny do have a base friendship of 140. And it is it especially helps that Buneary and Lopunny are, or rather were, the only Pokemon who learn Frustration and return through level up. Frustration is a move that deals more damage the less friendship a Pokemon has with their trainer. Return is the opposite, dealing more damage the more friendship a Pokemon has with their trainer. At level 13, Buneary learns Frustration while Lopunny learns Return. Lopunny is literally showing you how much they like you, and how proud they are to be your Pokemon, all by learning the move that's powered by friendship. If that's not Wholesome 100, I don't know what is, though it looks like Game Freak chose to take away this wholesome factor. I'm recording this before Scarlet and Violet are out, and way before I even play them. So if these moves are not in Gen 9, I'll be very sad. I want Returns Return, dang it. But you want to know what else is wholesome 100 about Lop Bunny? They don't actually like to fight. Sure, they're a Pokemon, so of course they'll fight if you send them in the battle, but that's just to make you happy. According to Lop Bunny's Ultra Moon Dex entry, while Lop Bunny can kick powerfully, they seemingly just do out of defense. Lop Bunny is also always on the lookout for danger. Yeah, Lop Bunny has a combat powers of a martial artist, but they only use those skills for self defense or to make their trainer happy. This also ties into Lopunny's Mega Evolution. Mega Evolution awakens Lopunny's dormant fighting spirit. And that spirit is the power of friendship. Remember, Mega Evolution is powered by the bond a Pokemon has with their trainer. And so Mega Lopunny being a normal fighting type, instead of just a pure fighting type, means they're only using the fighting skills they have to win the battle and make you proud. They even get scrappy to make sure you can rely on them. And let me tell you guys, this whole thing of Lopunny not being a fan of fighting and just wanting to support their friends is even built into their moveset. While Return and Fresh are completely gone, but Taunt Pass is a staple of competitive play. In competitive base, Lopunny isn't anything too special, but when they are used, their primary strategies include Baton Pass and Heal Bell, two major support moves. The usual Baton Pass strategy uses Baton Passing a Substitute and or Stab Boost, and with Lopunny's impressive speed, they are very likely to set something up. And I actually have some experience with the setup Lopunny. I won't say too much since I plan to make a video about it next year, but over the summer, I did a run of Brilliant Diamond with a specific set of rules. And because of those rules, I was very limited on what Pokemon I could use. But one Pokemon I was allowed to use was Lopunny. During the early game, Lopunny was my ace for a lot of battles, actually being one of my heavy hitters. But when we reached the Elite Four, I knew Lopunny's time soloing battles was over. And so I changed Lopunny's moveset to be a complete support role. Work up, substitute, baton pass, and agility. But now, let's get serious for a bit and discuss the true reason for this video. This slander of Lopunny's wholesome name bothers me even more now that I genuinely like and respect Lopunny as a Pokemon. But even back when Lopunny was still more of a memeish Pokemon for me, I still thought people calling them stuff like this was unfair. It is people treating Lopunny like an object and calling them, a word I don't think I can say on YouTube. So I'll just say quote unquote easy. Okay, Professor Orlando, you may have the most culpable set of cheeks on the internet, but they don't make you exempt from blatant slander. I mean, they almost do, but they don't. Professor Orlando, if that is your real name, you say that Lopunny goes around. Despite the fact that it's a French evolution and looks after its friends, just because it has sultry eyes, thick thighs, and knows people want it? Pardon me, but those details seem to apply to you, too. I mean, come on. Does that make you easy? Does that mean you betray the trust you have with your waifu? No. 
then who are you to say that Lopunny acts this way? But it seems you might even know this truth but are not willing to admit you are wrong. Within the comments of the video where Professor Lando slandered Lopunny, a legendary commenter stated what I've been saying about Lopunny being a friendship evolution, and even gave an incredible thesis on why Buneary has a base friendship of zero. It's because Buneary is a tsundere. I also want to bring up a counterpoint to a common criticism I saw of this thesis, because many people brought up the fact that Lopunny is a friendship evolution. The criticism I saw the most had their Lopunny can find in the wild, which would play into what Professor Lando said, if Floppany lets anyone evolve them, then what makes you special? Well, the Sundari interpretation explains this beautifully. For one, yes. Lopunny does not necessarily need a trainer to evolve. The friendship with their fellow Mon will probably suffice in the wild. However, according to the Sundari theory, a Lopunny is past their Sundari phase. So when you find a Lopunny in the wild, they already met a friend who changed their perspective on people. Lopunny has a base friendship value of 140, the highest a wild Pokemon can have. And this is because the wild Lopunny is optimistic about new friendships. And of course, most people go and ruin that. And now I know what some people want to bring up. Isn't Lopunny based on a Playboy bunny? Well, yes and no. Yeah. Yes, Lopunny is a bunny girl. But if you know Japan, then you know they like their cute things. So the idea of a cute anime girl just like a bunny is like a slam dunk for them. Bunny girls are a common thing in Japanese media. So yes, the idea of a bunny girl came from Playboy. But I don't think that's fair to say that Playboy is the sole inspiration. Instead, they're based on a general idea of bunny girls. It's not uncommon for a Pokemon to have various inspirations. And even if Lopunny was specifically based on a Playboy, a Pokemon's inspiration does not necessarily influence how they behave. A funny example is that evil Togepi from the anime. Incineroar is based on a hero wrestler, and while it can be a bit egotistical, it also refuses to fight anyone who is on its level. An honorable fighter if you ask me. But also, even Dr. Lava mentions that in Japan, the bunny girl costume lost most of its association with Playboy, so any arguments that Lava is based on Playboy are definitively invalid. Go outside. But since I mentioned deck entries, I should probably ignore some descriptors of Lopunny as vain. Lopunny being described as vain is sometimes used on fan sites. So for one, those are fan sites, not the official word of the Pokemon Company. None of Lopunny's official deck entries have any mention of them being a vain Pokemon, unless you count the Pokemon Ultimate Handbook. But considering that A, this might not be from the official word of the Pokemon Company, B, this is not seen in the official in-game text, and C, it's the Pokemon Ultimate Handbook. Do you know how wrong these things are? And you know what? So what if Lopunny's a bit vain, huh? Maybe you people gave them a complex. Plus, there's nothing wrong with being proud of how you look. I guess Lopunny is conscious of their looks, but that's not being vain. Vain is when you put beauty and stats above everything else, something Lopunny is not known to do. More on that later. We're all conscious of our looks, at least on some level. Just look at what Google says. He was very conscious of his appearance, under the text painfully aware of, sensitive to. Like I said, y'all gave Lopunny a complex. And yes, as the sentence used he, I should mention that 50% of Lopunny are male, hence why I've been using they them pronouns. Now going back to what makes Lopunny wholesome, even the anime and sites here support the idea that Lopunny is wholesome, and an amazing friend. I don't remember too much of the DP anime, but I do remember Don's Buneary having a wholesome and adorable crush on Pikachu. Can anyone say with confidence that Buneary was not crushing on other Pokemon too if it evolved? I mean, if she got over her crush on Pikachu, then yeah, she would crush on other Pokemon. But that's different. That would not be crushing on two Pokemon at the same time. As for other Pokemon games, there's the Pokepark series and Explorers of Sky. In the first Pokepark, Lopunny is Buneary's older sister who likes to play Chase. And in the sequel, Lopunny is an inspiration, being cool and beautiful. Lopunny got true girl power back in 2009, baby, being strong and independent, but also being attractive and caring about other people. And in Explorers of Sky, Lopunny is the leader of the highly esteemed Team Charm, a team made up of some of the most beautiful Pokemon, who is good friends with Guildmaster Wigglytuff. Bulbapedia describes Lopunny as vain, just because she often talks about getting beautiful treasure, but she talks about treasure being as beautiful as Team Charm, as in not just her, but her and all her friends. She does imply that she thinks Manicham is an idiot at one point, but come on, we all gotta tell our homies that they're stupid. Lopunny's always up for a good mystery, adding intelligence to that girl power list, especially since Lopunny's special stats support this. The special stats are often seen as an intelligence stat. Calm Mind, Nasty Plot, and Anisia are all special buffing moves. Lopunny has a special attack of 54 and a special defense of 96. Added together and you get an IQ of 140. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. The Lopunny being smart does not stop them from being a klutz. It's ability time. Lopunny's base abilities are cute charm and klutz, and their hidden ability is limber. And as mentioned, the mega ability is scrappy. I guess I should go over key charm first. I know what some people are thinking. Cute charm? Doesn't that mean Lopunny is flirtatious? No, actually. You see, cute charm only activates when the opponent hits Lopunny. All that's happening is the opponent is hitting Lopunny and thinking, hey, they're pretty cute. It's not Lopunny's fault this is people's reaction.
Next is Klutz. Come on, what's cuter than a klutzy anime girl? Limber? While Lopunny doesn't like fighting all that much, it doesn't mean they aren't athletic, able to roll with the punches and work around paralysis. There you have it folks, my in-depth analysis that Lopunny is actually the most wholesome Pokemon in existence. Yes, they are pretty hot. But it's not Lopunny's fault they're treated like an object. What do you think? Will you give using Lopunny in a playthrough a try? I'll be honest, when I play Legends Arceus, I use Lopunny for the meme. People were already making jokes about Legends Arceus taking place during a certain time period, but then I nearly swept Volo with Lopunny. Granted, I was heavily overleveled. Even so, my level 98 Lopunny destroyed Volo's team, only needing to be switched out against the final Garatina form. Even throughout the playthrough, Lopunny was a go to. Her baby doll eyes quick attack combo could not be beat. And yes, the Lopunny I use in Legends Arceus, and even the Brilliant Diamond run, are female. The first time it was for the meme, but in Brilliant Diamond it was because the first bunny I ran into was female. Also, next year is the year of the rabbit. Okay, quick last minute thing I want to add to the video, but I've been replaying Platinum and use a Lopunny. Since I used one in Legends Arceus and the Brilliant Diamond, I wanted to see how they held up in the original games. And while there's no agile style or workup, Lopunny still found a way to be amazing. And this time it was because of Foresight. With Foresight, not only were evasion moves useless, but with a moveset of Return, Jump Kick, Foresight, Foresight and Charm, and Wide Lens to make Jump Kick 100% accurate, Candice's Frost Lass, and Cynthia's Spirit Tomb were perfectly countered by Lopunny. So yeah, don't write off Lopunny as a bad Pokemon. Maybe you just need to get better at Pokemon. Though I will say my Platinum Lopunny was a female with a docile nature. So make all the jokes you want, I guess. Have a nice day, you wonderful people. We live in a society, Batman. I tell people Lopunny is one of my favorite Pokemon, and they call me a furry. What if I'm not a furry, Batman? What if I genuinely like Lopunny as a Pokemon? Think about it like this, Batman. People say that Lucario is a favorite Pokemon all the time, and no one bats an eye. Yet I say I like Lopunny and get called a furry. We live in a society, Batman. 